What is Yeah! Dang it! Oh, that didn't go as planned. Man, that thing is dangerous. That's totally not a bat with roofing nails and um, duct tape on it. But anyway, today we're gonna go get some more etching primer, but then we'll be back. I am gonna make the easiest dragon scale tumbler you have ever seen in your life. So let's go get some more etching primer and then we'll be right back. Voila, there we go. Nice and etching primered. Now this is gonna blow your mind how easy this is. I've always wanted to make a dragon scale tumbler, but I did not want to each put each individual one on one by one by one. It's like, ah, that'd drive me crazy. So I've come up with this pattern technique. A lot of you have seen my plaid pattern, my tangram pattern, and this is gonna blow your mind how easy this is. So what you're gonna do, you get your pattern, you cut out and you weed it. Ah, so satisfying. Then you take your second layer, just like so. And what you're gonna do, you're just gonna move it down right over this layer. So it, you can see where it's supposed to go because it's cut already. Just match it up. All you're doing, basically moving each layer down just a little bit. And listen, here, I'm gonna pull this one off. Move it over just a little bit because I stretched it when I pulled it because I'm trying to do it over my camera here. And listen, this is a 32 ounce hog that I made. There's a link in the description to get this file. There's a 32, a 22, and a 20 ounce skinny. Don't stress if you don't have any of those tumblers and you want to use this because all you have to do is pick one of those that, like if it's tapered like the 32 and 22, you pick this one. If it's skinny, you pick the 20, and you measure the circumference of your tumbler at the top, the circumference. And then you measure how tall it is, okay? And you put in your Krikot program and you just adjust how wide it is by the circumference and how tall it is. Now with the tall, you don't wanna go all the way down to here, you wanna go down to the next layer so you have room when you overlap. So you won't be like short on your tumbler. I mean, but if you are, you can just print out some more. Whatever, this is super easy. So what you wanna do, is you're gonna take each one and move it down on the next one till you get to the top. Now that you got them all lined up and done, you're just gonna take them all off in one nice little sheet. Look how easy that is. What? So now what I'm gonna do is take it and line it up at the top. Give yourself a little room, it's no big deal. Then you just want to wrap it all the way around. Just let it fall right on your tumbler. And voila, you can even pull it back off and stretch it downwards a little if you'd like to. If it gets a wrinkle in it, who cares? Big deal. It's dragon scales. What I tell you about making it all pretty. You don't want the dragon looking like he just came from a beauty shop. You want him to have a story. Give him some scars and battle wounds and like a lion with a mane. You don't want him to have all his hair going the same way and look like he just came from the beauty shop. Give him some character. Give him a story. You know, that's the way you need to think of it when you're making your art. And there you go. Now, if you don't get it perfect, listen, don't worry. I'm still in the experimental phases of my sizing. By the time you get to see this video, I'll have it all tweaked out just right. But if you come into an issue of it not lining up or something, just go back and slice out a section and use individuals to fill in whatever, put two on at a time or put one on. No big deal. It's dragon scales and it doesn't have to be perfect. And if you have a few extras, just make a little cool pattern on the bottom. Now we're going to take some black spray paint and I'm going to spray paint all of these for you today. Thank you. All right, now we got it all black. It looks super slick and slick, sick. I even took a piece of 80 grit sandpaper and ch -ch 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 this way before I spray painted just to give it some texture and some some gnarliness. Maybe he's been in a battle, scratches, just some cool stuff. And then I spray painted it black. Now we are ready for the chameleon mica powders. I bought 
these junks. I mean, they're pretty, but wow, look how tiny that is. Off of Amazon, and I had no idea they were this small. So hopefully, if I use all of them, I'll have enough to do this. This one right here is super pretty. I'd love to have more of this one, but you know, hey. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I've seen people put it on with a brush. I don't really like it. So I'll just sprinkle dinkle, drizzle dizzle some of this on here, splat a few out, get a few here and there. Wow, there's hardly anything in here. That's ridiculous. Put a few colors here and then take my finger, just my regular old finger, and do some circular motions. Rub it around real nice. There you go. And I'm gonna alternate colors. You see how cool that looks already? Look at that, that's sick. Man, that looks amazing. I try not to push it off the top too much because I don't want to waste it. Because you see, I barely got any. It's ridiculous. Oh, that's so satisfying. Man, that's beautiful. That is sick. Look at that color. So let's put a little more. Just do it till you're happy. Whatever your heart desires there. Oh crap, I spilled some. Let's scoop this up with my finger. Oh yeah, I spilled it on the table. Man. That's like magic. So awesome. Now let's get some purple. I might could just dip my finger in there, huh? Let's just do that. Dip my finger in there. I like the drizzle dizzle. You know, I'm a fan of the drizzle dizzle. It doesn't take much. These things go pretty far, I guess. I guess it's a good thing because I don't have very many to go far. Ooh, that color is ridiculous. Blend it into the other one. Look how the blend goes from one color to the next. If you're using multiple, because you don't have very much, push it down this way where I need some. Whoops, you can't see what I'm doing. Push it down here where I need some. Wow. I don't know if I'm going to cut any of this out. It's so awesome. Let's see, what's this color do? Let's see what this one is. Oh, that's, well, that's kind of kind of nice. Let's get some more of this one here. It's really nothing special about the technique. I'm just getting it on there, trying to waste as little as possible and get it a good coverage. Oh, look, you know, it'd be cool is if you barely rubbed it and you wanted to highlight the edges you could just do that you don't have to put so much i like so much because the bling is pretty but cool to know you could just oh what look it grabs those scratches i put with the 80 like if you just barely oh that would be cool oh that's sick well, i already started this so i gotta finish this but look at that i might well do it that way next time it just grabs the scratches from the 80 grit sandpaper and the edges look at that Oh man, if I was starting over, I'd do that again. But you can't, you can't beat that. Look how much sing that bling has. It is crazy. Push it up, push it down. All right, I'm going to finish this because I'm having so much fun doing this. It's so addicting. I'm going to be sad when I get to the end. Just, just see, yeah, I just grab a little with my finger and then keep going. It's awesome. Just cover it till you're satisfied and then come back. Man, look, oh, there's just somewhere cool to look everywhere you turn. Oh, boy, let's finish up. That is amazing. The color shift is super ridiculous. That stuff goes a long way. It's a good thing because I was little, but I tell you what, I'm kind of glad because it made me use every single color. And would you look at that? That's like magic everywhere you turn. And want to mention... Don't forget the bottom. I did a little green in the middle, purple, and then like a darker, whatever, one of them colors on the outside. But, geez, I could look at this all day, but I can't. We got to keep going. The next step is to put some mate, oh my gosh, two coats or so of mate clear on it to lock in our beauty. Then we're going to put two coats of epoxy, and then it'll be beautiful, and it'll look like this. Mm -hmm. 